Okay, hey, Matthew Splinterton here with Event Santa Cruz, and I am here with Ashley Rebello. How you doing, Ashley? I'm great. Thanks for having me. How are you? Good, good. Thanks for coming on. I like how we, we start off saying that, but we've been talking for like 10 minutes already. <laughs> well, you know. <laughs> it's the interview. Formalities are formalities. <laughs> yeah. So you work at Santa Cruz Mountain Brewery, correct? Correct. And what do you do there? What's like, oh, we talked about it. You have a very like multifaceted position there. Yeah, I'm really lucky to work with such amazing human beings. Um, I am currently laid off right now since the top room is closed and we're not able to do events, but my um, official title there is community outreach and events. And then I bartend a few nights a week because it's Santa Cruz after all. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah. So what is, what is, and okay, well, I'm the, and let's back up a little bit. The reason why we're having this interview is we're going to talk about something that happened to Tacos El Chewy. They had an accident. So we're going to talk about that, but um, mm -hmm. it's something you spearheaded. But I, I want to start off with Santa Cruz Mountain Brewery. You, you're struggling like all of us are in one way or another and trying to make it happen and trying to keep business afloat, like you said, and currently you mm -hmm. yourself are laid off got, and there's kind of a skeleton crew. What is Santa Cruz Mountain Brewery like doing now? Like, can we actually get Santa Cruz, um, no, Santa Cruz County, no, Santa Cruz Mountain Brewery beer? <laughs> yeah, you definitely can. Um, so obviously everyone's kind of like shifting their business models. So right now we're doing a lot of canning so you can get cans um you can come into the tap room um tuesday through saturday the tap room's closed on sunday and monday you can get growlers crowlers cans um we're legally able now to sell the cider and the wine to go um and you can also go online and get delivery monday through saturday so you can order online and have someone just drop it off to your door which is awesome cool. so santa yeah. cruz can still get their organic a craft brewery still awesome thank the lord and if you have keg if you have a kegerator you can also still um rent kegs which is a oh, nice cool. option too which yeah. i've done many times for our events we've definitely re you know rented your kegs um so what i find interesting is that in midst of this struggle again we're all struggling emily and your crew decided you know what we're gonna help tacos el chewy now Okay, make sure I got it right. Cause yeah. I was here wrong. Tacos El Chewy. Yeah, they <laughs> you got they it. Got in an accident, right? Um, yeah. can you tell us about what happened. I you know I didn't. We didn't even talk about this, but how did it happen? Um, honestly, I haven't asked um a lot of questions. Um, but from my understanding of the photos and kind of like the little bits of information, is that it was raining. There was a big storm, and basically the truck. Um, I feel like it hit something on the road, lost control, and just kind of like flopped into a ditch. Um, my like main thing was like, oh my God, who was in the truck? Like, is anybody hurt? And thankfully no one was yeah. hurt. Um, but yeah, so then that's just like all of their income gone. Yeah, I mean, it yeah. looks, it's not like just like a couple of scrapes on the truck. It looks pretty <sighs> bad. I mean, there's like tree branches that are like through the, the everywhere so yeah it's, I'm so glad that nobody got hurt so yeah so you and your team decided hey let's help them out so what how have you been doing that um well we had a really uh wonderful success using the GoFundMe platform for our adoptive family program that we take part in every year um yeah. so that was fantastic um we have several work group texts going on so we all found out about um, the accident at the same time and it's like what can we do and then Emily reached out to me and was like hey can you like what do you think about doing a GoFundMe like can you start that can you can you spearhead that and I was like that sounds like a great idea sure I would have never thought of that on my own you know so um, it's it's been pretty incredible like the response has been insane uh, and they've been so overwhelmed with how many people are sending them messages and just like all the love they were just blown away it's like hard to talk about without getting emotional because they're such humans yeah oh, i think this died can you hear me i can hear you perfectly fine yeah okay great yeah. um yeah so um put together you know wrote the little 
we'll buy out what was happening, just picked a random number. I was like, well, 10 grand is probably good enough to put as like the full thing. Yeah. And right now, as of right before we got on this um, Zoom call, the total is at $4,485. So I've been able to kind of like, I know it's so insane. And I've had um, a lot of people, like I stated on the GoFundMe, like if you don't want to give GoFundMe a cut, then like reach out to me and let me know. Um, and I can give you Chewy's Venmo, which is now up on that page as well. But so Perfect. I've had probably about a dozen or so emails come through being like, what's Chewy's handle? I would, I don't want to pay GoFundMe. I'd rather pay Chewy. So I don't even know how much the total is right now, but just so thankful for everybody donating. You know, I mean, it sounds like a lot of money, but really it's, I mean, it is, and it's going to help them, but you know, it's, it's, it's going to be expensive to fix the truck and just the money they're not making during this time. Yeah. Um, you know, so it's, you know, it's really important that we get involved. And I like when I was looking through GoFundMe, looking at some of the people that donated and even local, um, like businesses, I, I think I saw one wheel, like the one wheel team, they donated and other yeah. people. So that is really cool. So if we want to go to, if we want to help support, um, we put in go, gofundme.com. Is that what it is? Or what's yeah, the GoFundMe. Um, you can type in, you can just type in tacos old chewy and it should come up. Yeah, I think you're right. Yeah. Um, you can, that's a, that's like the search term you can find. And then, um, it's the tacos old chewy family relief fund. Okay, cool. Yeah. And that's, what's, that's, what's so wonderful is like, there have been, um, anonymous and non-anonymous donations anywhere from five to five hundred dollars so it really like even those little five dollars they've all been adding up so yeah. it's so nice to see people supporting even though i know that they're hurting too you know but, well it's like, I, I do see, and i also see the venmo cut there as well that you've updated so that's cool um okay so we're all gonna go there we're gonna you know help out chewy's there um Circling back to Santa Cruz, um, Santa Cruz Mountain Brewery, how, I mean, how can we support is basically just buy beer from you. That seems like a win-win. I know, right? <laughs> well, you can always order it and show up at the house. Um, they've put together a couple of different packs, which are really awesome. Um, Chad's weekend pack is basically like a case of beer because you know, we, we yeah. all know and love Chad. <laughs> and then there's another one um, that was put together recently that's the the chill pack, which um, we have some uh, Big Pete's CBD cookies. So it's like two big cookies, a case of beer, and some chips. It's pretty rad. Today would be, probably be the day for that. Yeah. Today <laughs> would be the day for that. Yeah. <laughs> That are cool. Okay. Well, thank you so much. Thank you for taking the time and thank you for um, for helping, you know. Uh, a local business that really, you know, it's more than a local business. It's a family. That needs they're help. definitely, they're definitely our extended family. That's one of the, one of the fun parts of my job is like in community outreach is like kind of building this larger family around the yeah. brewery. So they've been with us for like four or five years now. So they're definitely, great, definitely part of the crew. Okay. Well, thank you so much. Um, tell Emily and Chad thank and the you. rest of the crew also, you know, we appreciate what they do. And, um, I guess I better go place my order. Thanks a lot. <laughs> Thank you.